all animals. Scientists find O-Town. Fancy a trip to Octopus Town, Australia? Then you could be in luck. The Octopus Tetricus, more commonly known as the Gloomy Octopus, is widely thought to be antisocial. This thinking may soon change. New research has found a site occupied by 15 of the octopuses close to Jarvis Bay on Australia's east coast. Scientists observed complex social behavior in the creatures, including mating, mate defense, as well as eviction from the site and exclusion of some from the group. The study provides scientists with a deeper understanding of one of nature's most difficult to study creatures. Keep watching for more on Creatures from the Deep. The fish are changing. A British toxicologist has found that chemicals seeping into the water supply is feminizing the fish population. A fifth of male river fish in the UK have reportedly turned intersex or transgender and are now displaying both male and female characteristics. The mutations are caused by chemicals from contraceptive pills, cleaning products, plastics, and cosmetics that make it to the water system after being flushed down. 20% of male fish tested in 50 sites displayed less competitive mating behavior and reduced sperm quality, with some even producing eggs. Offspring of these transgender fish may also be more sensitive to the effects of chemicals in subsequent exposures. The research by University of Exeter Professor Charles Tyler served as the opening lecture at a fisheries symposium in the British Isles. Fish biologists from around the world are gathering at the symposium to talk about other threats to the fish population and how to address them. Faceless fish found in the abyss. Australian scientists have discovered a faceless deep sea fish off Australia's east coast during a month long expedition. The sampling the abyss expedition begins from Bell Bay, Tasmania and ends in Brisbane. The investigator research vessel is equipped with multi-beam sonar that can map the structure of the seafloor. The expedition surveys the abyssal level, up to 6,000 meters deep in the ocean. Sleds, dredgers, and grabbers are deployed in order to collect samples of animals and sediment. Scientists said animals in the abyss are often small and move slowly, and many of them don't have eyes or produce their own light through bioluminescence. Another Cancer Research Breakthrough Scientists in Portugal have demonstrated that zebrafish larvae can be used as avatars for people in that they can predict the response of human cancer tumors to various drugs. This would enable researchers to choose the more efficient treatments for patients. Scientists implanted human cancer cells into zebrafish larvae and allowed them to grow. They then added different chemotherapy drugs to the fish's water tanks and discovered the fish had different physical responses to effective and ineffective drugs. This was consistent with the patient's responses to various treatments. Similar experiments have been done on mice, but tumors require at least two months to grow inside mice, whereas with zebrafish, growth can take place in about two weeks. The team plans to conduct the same experiments in hundreds of patients in order to confirm the accuracy of the fish's response, which would be completed within two years. Orca whales harassing fishing boats for their catches. Fishermen out in Alaska are dealing with a new threat to their fishing hauls in the form of killer whales. Recently, the pods of predators have been observed targeting individual boats, even waiting hours for the fish to pile up. Once the fishermen are ready to call it quits, that's when tens of orcas swim in to swipe the catch. A fisherman interviewed by the National Post likened the shakedown to the methods of a biker gang. The fishermen who've been victimized by this thuggery say not only do they get stalked by the whales, they sometimes get chased back to port. Using electronic noisemakers was one disruption technique designed to shoo them away, but the orcas now hear it as a dinner bell. The fishermen also report they've seen more juvenile whales, which could mean the young ones are being taught how to go gangster at an early age. The increased incidence of whale thieving in the area is being attributed to populations rebounding, following a moratorium on commercial whaling in the 1990s. That and killer whales are socially advanced creatures as well as expert hunters, known to invent their own hunting strategies and share useful information amongst their pods. While there are no reports of wild orca whales killing humans, that doesn't mean they're opposed to roughing you up. 